Hello my loves and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here my name is Massa and we are doing one of my favourite videos of the year today. Now you might be thinking it's pretty late for me to be doing a September TBR because it's currently the 8th as I'm filming this but this is one of my favourite videos of the year so I just wanted to do it even though it's going to be a little bit late going out. It's going to be a nice one to get me back into filming and editing and get me back on track for like doing YouTube videos again because they've been gone a little while, I don't know if you noticed, but I am so excited to be doing the Magical Readathon this September and that is one of my favourite readathons. It's hosted by G over at Book Roast, which I will link down below. It's basically like a role-playing game, like Dungeons and Dragons style readathon, but it's so, so versatile. So you can go at it with whatever intensity that you really want to do. It's set at a magical school and there's two semesters every year. So I think the last one was in April and now we've got the autumn semester, which is currently happening. And basically you get a syllabus of things to follow for whatever career path you want to study towards. Some people go really hard and they've got their characters all laid out, like looks, personality, all of that. I just have the thing that I'm studying towards that I like to do every time I do this readathon, which is Star Whisperer and then you get your lessons that you need to study for it for each semester. Now that we're all caught up on what the readathon actually is, let's get into the TBR. The autumn semester is always a little bit more difficult than the spring semester, so for this one I think there's a minimum of eight books that I need to read, which is um, more than I've read in like the last four months put together, but that's besides the point. We're gonna try to do this and it's gonna be fine. So the first qualification that I need to get for my chosen career path, which is Star Whisperer, is an O in Art of Illusion, which means that I just need to read one book for this class and for that it is an image generator that we need to use. So I went ahead, I've used the image generator and it gave me this emoji right here and it's the clickers for filming. I should know the real name of it given that that's the industry I'm in but I don't. I think it's a clipper? Something like that. And so I can interpret this however I want it but there's a book that if you've been here a while, you know, has been on my TBR for honestly, what is six months? Maybe it's maybe a bit longer than six months. And it's not even been on my TBR. I started it, I think about six months ago. I got 80 pages in. I then proceeded to put it on multiple TBRs since then. And for some reason, my brain is just refusing to read it. I honestly, I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing this, but that book is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. And this is a dystopian YA book about a post-apocalyptic almost America in which the country is being separated into districts. Top district is the capital where they're super wealthy and the lowest one is District 12. They have this thing called the Hunger Games to commemorate the last time there was a rebellion or a war against the capital in which each district sends two of their children in to fight to the death. So super fun, super cheery, everyone knows what The Hunger Games is. So I obviously picked this one because it has a movie adaptation and that's how I chose to interpret the little emoji. And the movies are my favourite films of all time probably. They are my go-to comfort films. I watch them on an almost monthly basis so I don't understand why I can't sit down and read the book but it's on the list and honestly if I don't read it this month then I might just give up on the books entirely. The next qualification that I need is a D in astronomy and that means there's three prompts for this one so that's three separate books and it starts with Constellation Cradle and that is a book that was released in the month that you were born and for that I was born in October so I've chosen a book released in October and that is Paybacks a Witch by Lana Harper and this is about a witch who doesn't have a lot of magic and and that probably has something to do with the fact that she hasn't been back home to her magical little town in a very long time and that's in part because of her family and in part because of 
I think a person that broke her heart so she is basically now having to go back to her town because there's this magical spell casting tournament that her family are in charge of I think and she is being guilted by her parents into going back and helping with that so she ends up there and while all of that is going on she's spending time with family and friends she runs into someone who has just had their heart broken by the same person that broke her heart and I think they get together and sort of curse the person. I don't really honestly know too much about this. I think I bought it because I liked the title and I liked the cover of it and it's been on my shelves ever since and I only picked it up because it was the only thing on my shelves that was released in October. The next prompt that we have for astronomy is Constellation Castle and for that we need a book with a castle on the cover and for that I have gone with A Feather So Black by Lyra Celine which is the best author name by the way and I don't think on the original cover there's a castle but this is the fairy loot edition and if you look right there that's a castle to me so we're gonna go with this one. So A Feather So Black is about a girl who is a changeling and she was left behind when the fair folk stole the queen's daughter and took them with her. She's left in a world with no magic and she is tasked by the queen to go to the fairy realm to find her daughter, break the curse and bring her back. She is sent on this little journey with the princess's betrothed and the person that's been her best friend since she was small and she goes into the fairy realm to try and rescue the princess. Along the way there's feelings involved. She kind of develops feelings I think for the princess's betrothed and also the dark prince that is holding the princess captive. I think there's gonna be some sort of like love triangle or maybe she has to choose between them. I'm not sure. I don't know too much about this but I am excited to read it because I really like when they go from the world with no magic into the fairy realm and seeing the difference and also I'm just so obsessed with this edition of the book and the cover and the art. It's just so stunning that I'm just so excited to read it because I want it to give the same vibes as the cover. So like, it's just so beautiful and on the back. So I assume one of the characters on the front is the changeling and the other one is the princess probably, but I'm just very excited to read this. The last prompt for astronomy is constellation dice. And for that, you need to roll a six-sided dice and basically that then determines the length of the book that you need to read. This happened a while ago so I got my partner to roll the dice. I can't remember what number he got but it must have been... hang on let me see how many pages this is. So this book is 376 pages which means that he must have rolled a three because I think that is 300 to 400 pages and of course because I was doing other things I then gave him the task of going upstairs into this room looking at my bookshelves and picking a book of that length. I don't know what I was thinking but it was a little fun experiment to see what he would choose for me to read and we ended up with Feybound and that is by Sarah L. Arifi. I don't honestly know too much about this one and this is after reading the synopsis. So from the synopsis I've got that there are two sisters, one of them's a warrior and they are both elves or from the elven kingdom. One of them is a warrior, the other one is trying to make a living from seeing prophecies and being a diviner and something happens, some sort of mistake, some sort of thing occurs where they are exiled from the elven kingdom and they end up in the fairy realm I think and I'm not really sure what else happens but it says their loyalties are tested so I truly couldn't give you any more information than that. I don't know what this is about. I've sort of heard mixed things about this so we'll see how this goes. It's a very pretty cover however I will give it that and the sprayed edges are gorgeous but I just I don't know what I'm going into and I'm nervous. The next qualification that I need is an O in law which is just one book that we need for this one and that is a vampire book and this book has vampires a good part of 
it is about vampires, sort of. So I might have cheated a little bit because it's I wouldn't say it's necessarily like a full vampire book, but I'm going to class this as a vampire book. And that is The Zodiac Academy, The Awakening by Caroline Peckham and Suzanne Valenti. And this is actually a reread because I read, God, I can't remember how many books I read through the pandemic and then sort of lost interest and now I've forgotten so much of the things that happened and basically I want to start rereading it and finish the series because I hate leaving things unfinished but this is about two twin sisters and it is Tori and Darcy and they are just living their lives being normal teenage kids in the human world and then this guy shows up and tells them that they're actually fae and they are about to start this weird fae school. So he drags them to the fae realm, which is like a mirror world of Earth. So it's very similar. And there they get their powers and they start this school, except it's not a normal school. It's like a school from hell. So at the school, they find out that they are actually the long lost heirs of the kingdom and that their father was the king. And they have huge amount of power like they are super powerful and there's these four boys who are currently the heirs to the kingdom because their bloodline was thought to be lost and they are bullies and they are horrible to the girls and they make their lives a living hell and this is what is known i didn't know this genre existed before this book as a bully romance why would that be a thing you ask i don't know but i read it this is a reread and I'm kind of excited to go into it. It's one of those books where just go with the vibes. Like if you think about it too much, then it'll hurt your head. But if you're just there for the vibes, trying to have a good time, like chill, then it's fine. <laughs> And our final class that we need to pass is psionics and divinations and for that we need a D which is three prompts. So the first prompt is rewind time and that is to read the debut novel of your favourite author. And I don't know with this one I'm having a really hard time because I don't know if I necessarily have a favourite author. I think the author that I've read the most books from is probably Sarah J Maas and I'm just really stuck with this one. So I've got two options and I'm just going to see how I feel later on about these two options and go from there. So our first author option is Stephanie Garber and I believe the first one is Caraval. Now I've read the Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I loved the first two books and then the third book I didn't like the direction that it went in. So I think I enjoy her writing and I think I should read the Caraval series because that links in with Once Upon a Broken Heart but I don't know. And the second author option is Kerry Maniscalco and she is the author of the Wicked Kingdom series which I really enjoyed again. I didn't know where it was going to go with the third one, I don't know how I feel and the subsequent standalones from that series I haven't read yet but I do own and I think the first one that she did was stalking Jack the Ripper so I have options and I also should say that I have no idea what stalking Jack the Ripper or Caraval are about. So I don't know which way this is going to go but it's very much going to be whatever I'm in the mood for at a later time during this month. The next prompt is significance of reoccurrence and this one was really hard. For this one you needed to find a book where it contained four or more of the same letter in the title. I just I scoured I scoured and I scoured my shelves and there was only one option. And that book is The Unfortunate Side Effects of Heartbreak and Magic by Brianne Randall. And this... I, <laughs> I'm such a sucker for social media marketing when it comes to books because this was described as practical magic meets Gilmore Girls and I knew nothing else about it and that's why I bought it. So I think it's about a girl who has magic but the magic comes from the four heartbreaks that she has and she ends up having to basically decide whether love is worth losing her magic or whether love is more important than magic 
Um, I've just read the back of this and I didn't realise but this does involve a very sick grandmother who only has weeks to live which I didn't know and now I don't know how I feel about that because that's not something that I currently want to read while my grandmother's quite unwell. So I might need to come up with a different option for this if I don't feel up to reading sad grandmother sickness. So I will let you know and I will update you but it said Practical Magic meets Gilmore Girls and like that sold me so I don't know, we'll see how this goes. And our last prompt is Introduction to Tarot 2. And for this, it's a similar one that I've done before. You use a random tarot card generator to generate a tarot card, obviously. And you can use that as inspiration. It can be the vibes, it can be the title, it can be things in the image, it can be whatever you want. For this, I ended up with The Hanged Man. And I'll pop a picture here. And once you see this you will see how insanely perfect this book choice is because I saw this and my brain immediately went to one book that fits it perfectly and that is Evocation by S.T. Gibson. I mean are we seeing this cover and then the hanged how perfect this is insanely perfect. Now do I know what this is about? Absolutely freaking not. So it says when a family curse threatens the life of David, a medium, he will return to the only person he's ever trusted, his sorcerer ex-boyfriend, Reese, which means he will have to open his heart to Moira, Reese's astrologer wife. Okay. Meet David, Reese, and Moira for the first time as they navigate magic riddled Boston through, I literally cannot pronounce this word, hierarchical, I think that's how you say it, secret societies, familial bond, and beyond the grave, and much more in this gorgeous, richly imagined novel. How exciting. I don't know if this is a romance, or did it come with the romance, or was it just the adult box? Uh, no, this was just the Fairy Loot adult subscription box. So, it sounds intriguing. I don't know if I would have picked this up for quite a while if it wasn't for this prompt, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, the cover was just too perfect to pass up this opportunity. And they are all of the books that I have to read this month, which is wild. So I've already started the Zodiac Academy reread and I think the majority of these books are going to end up being audiobooks because I've got a really busy month ahead and the ADHD is not letting me sit and read these days. It is just, I can do audiobooks when I'm doing other things, but I have very little brain power to sit and read. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to try and get as many of these books read as I possibly can. I might lean towards the ones that interest me most and then leave the ones that interest me least for the end of the month, maybe? I feel like that's a terrible plan, but here we are. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them, but more importantly, are any of them not going to be worth my time? Because if that's the case, then I'll just leave them for the end of the month instead of trying to read them now and then getting into a reading slump. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a big ol' thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps me out massively and I'm going to be doing reading vlogs throughout this month and having like cozy reading days, which I want to share with you all. And yeah, thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye!